How's it going everybody? My name is James and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Duramax diesel history and we will go through the LB7 to the L5P. Stay tuned. Alright, so before we get into the history of the Duramax, I want to quickly touch on the history of what came before the Duramax, and that would be the Detroit diesels, the 6.2 liter and 6.5 liter. The 6.2 started uh, being produced in 1982 and would last until the early 1990s when it would switch over to the 6.5 liter and that would last until 2000. Uh, these were indirect injection engines and they were not bad engines, they were just not something to go brag about. The Cummins and Power Stroke were definitely better motors. Uh, the Power Stroke and Cummins really had more power, more torque, and were just overall a better engine. Uh, however, AM General still does produce a version of the 6.5 liter for the military Humvees, so that does say something about the design. Uh, obviously, many things have changed on the engine, and it just uses the basic framework of what the 6.5 was, and it's come a long ways since 2000. So now we can get into the Duramax history. Isuzu designed the Duramax diesel engine and GM and Isuzu would create a joint venture called DMAX to produce the engine. The first model of Duramax would be called the LB7 and it would be produced from 2001 to 2004. It would be a 6.6 liter, 32 valve, turbo diesel V8 with direct injection and it was pretty revolutionary because of its common rail injection system. Cummins would not have common rail injection until 2003, and Ford wouldn't have it until 2008, so it was pretty ahead of its time there. And another thing that made it ahead of its time would be its aluminum cylinder heads. Nobody was using aluminum heads back then in regards to that category of diesel engines, and today the 6.7 Power Stroke does use aluminum heads, but the Cummins is still using an iron head. A lot of people thought there would be some problems with these aluminum heads regards to maybe cracking or warping, but they seem to be pretty reliable. Uh, some actual problems with the first generation Duramax diesel would include injector problems, overheating problems, and head gasket issues. Um, the compression ratio would be 17.5 to 1, and it would produce 300 horsepower with 520 foot-pounds of torque. The LLY would be produced from 2004 to 2006, but an interesting fact about the 2006 model year with the LLY would be that that 2006 LLY would be a detuned LBZ, which we will talk about more later on after the LLY. So the LLY is actually pretty similar to the previous LB7, but it did gain a few things such as a variable geometry turbo kind of like the 6.0 power strokes. Also, it gained a, an emission system, the EGR. Also, they made the injectors easier to get at, and the compression ratio would be the same as the LB7, which would be 17.5 to 1, and it would gain a little bit of horsepower, bumping it up to 310 horsepower, and it would gain a decent amount of torque, bumping it up to 605 foot-pounds. Now we get into the LBZ. This engine would be produced from 2006 to 2007, and it would be a relatively short production, but it would gain a lot of fans. This engine would be very popular with people wanting to modify the engine because uh, it, it had a few changes that made it stronger. It had a stronger engine block, it had stronger rods, and the pistons and injectors were redesigned along with a few other things. But either way, like I said, this engine was definitely stronger than the previous engines and could make more power more reliably. And it gained a lot of backing through the aftermarket. So this engine also had a lower compression ratio compared to the other engines. It was 16.8 to 1. It produced 360 horsepower with 650 foot-pounds of torque. And even today, these trucks still go for a lot of money if you can find a good-conditioned, low-mile LBZ. Expect to pay a decent amount of money. 
And that brings us to the LMM, which was produced from 2007 to 2010, and 2007 would pretty much be the beginning of the more restrictive emission systems, such as the diesel particulate filter. However, this motor was pretty similar to the LBZ, the previous generation Duramax. So the compression ratio was also the same at 16.8 to 1. It did gain a little bit of horsepower and a little bit of torque, bumping it up to 365 horsepower and 660 foot-pounds of torque. Next, we have the successor to the LMM, which would be the LML, and this motor would be produced from 2011 to 2016. Even more emissions control devices would be added to this engine, including diesel exhaust fluid and an additional injector. Uh, over 50% of this motor was new compared to the previous model. It had stronger pistons and stronger rods, and also a different casting for the engine block, and much more. The compression was lowered from 16.8 to 1 to 16 to 1, and horsepower would increase to 397 horsepower, and torque would increase to 765 foot-pounds. However, this motor would quickly be outdated because Power Stroke and Cummins would surpass 800 foot-pounds relatively quickly, and Cummins would even go up to 900 foot-pounds during 2016. But GM would get back in the game with their new L5P. This motor would start production in 2017, and for the most part, it is a completely new engine, completely re-engineered, and it would have a stronger engine block along with the entire rotating assembly being revised. Like I said, for the most part, completely new, and this greatly helped GM get back into being competitive with Power Stroke and Cummins. They did keep the compression ratio the same at 16.0 to 1, but horsepower increased to 445 and torque increased to 910. So these were the main Duramax diesel engines, the most popular ones. There were versions put in vans, such as the LGH, but I didn't think that they would be as popular, so I didn't really mention them here. But uh, there is one more Duramax worth mentioning, and that would be the LWN. The LWN, or more commonly known as the Baby Duramax, would be put into the 2016 Canyon in Colorado. Also, it would be put into some vans during 2017. It would be a 2.8 liter, 4 cylinder turbo diesel engine. It would have a variable geometry turbo, along with common rail injection and an aluminum cylinder head. The compression ratio would be 16.5 to 1, and it would produce 181 horsepower and 369 foot pounds of torque. So that is a quick rundown of the Duramax models, hopefully it can help you memorize them. I know for me, uh, they're a little harder to memorize when comparing Cummins and Power Stroke. The Duramax engines are all 6.6 .6 liters and they use names like LB7 and LMM. So hopefully you found the video interesting and informative. And if you want to subscribe for more, that'd be great. I plan on doing a video like this for Cummins and Power Stroke, uh, hopefully soon here. So thanks for watching.